catch up. Um, and you guys just want to catch up. Yeah. That's a nice top, by the way. Susan, when a man compliments an outfit, he's not talking about your clothes. Yeah, you know, I'm usually a pretty good judge of character. You surprised me, Summer. Sorry for coming around so late, Susan. Is something wrong? I just had to see you. Uh, can I get you a, a drink or something? No, thanks. So what's the problem? I'm in a bit of an awkward situation. OK. With someone at work. Bradley, I don't think we should be having this conversation. It's hard to work that closely no, with Bradley, someone. no. I'm attracted to you, Susan. I think you're, you're just confusing office banter with something that, that just isn't there. Am I? This, this can't happen. Well, only if you don't want it to. Bradley, it's completely inappropriate. Well, I don't care how it looks. I don't care what anyone else thinks. Susan. You might even beat me this time. Carl, Carl, wait, 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 stop. Do you really want to spend our last few hours together climbing up a cliff? It's not a real one. I know, but I just, I just want to go home with you and chill out, relax, spend time together. Babe, we are not staying in. Why not? Because, look, when you're sitting on that plane, I want you to remember what an awesome day we've had. And I want you to smile when you think about it. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. So, uh, do you want a drink? No, no, I'm, I'm fine, thanks. Would like a couple of ounces, though. I hear you're being a bit distant with your mates. No, I've just got a lot of schoolwork to catch up on. Wouldn't be anything to do with that scruff pot, would it? Who, Harley? No, I hardly even know him. You know, it can seem strange when your mates get involved with other people. I mean, not for me, though. I mean, I'm far too old for that sort of thing. <laughs> but for you young tackers... Look, I'm fine, Lou, honestly. You know you can talk to me, don't you? About anything. Thanks, but I honestly, I don't need to talk. Well, I'll let you uh, get on with your study then. Yep. Lou? Way to kill him, Lou. <laughs> oh, that's my cab. I gotta go. Yep, get the hell out. Yeah, I'll see you in a few weeks. You have to. Yeah. I'm gonna miss you. Good. I'm gonna miss you too, bossy. Oh. All right, I'm out of here. Mwah. Love you, babe. Love you too. Miss you already. Bye. Bye. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Yeah, I know, bossy. Bradley told me he spoke to you. And I just want to let you know that this is not going to affect my work. The paper is very important to me and I would never... Oh, no, Summer, it's not the paper that I'm worried about. Bradley said this started last night. Yeah, we haven't kept anything from you. So it's not too serious yet. No, but I do like him. And we're going to the movies later, so I guess we'll see what happens. He's very charming, isn't he? It's easy to talk to. But the age gap means that he has a lot more life experience. Yeah, this isn't a trick question. Sorry, Susan called me in before. Ah, what'd she say? She doesn't think you and I should be seeing one another. And what do you think? Well, she's a teenager. They're allergic to advice. <laughs> Summer's usually so sensible. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe she does know what she's getting into. Well, at least you're giving her something to think about. It's out there now. She can't ignore it. I suppose. You said she was meeting him tonight? Yeah. Yeah, well, with any luck, she's realised you were right and called the whole thing off. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, I will speak to you tomorrow. Mm, okay. No. Night prayer.